Hello, welcome to Stephen Diggs History. This is um, episode two of season one of Relics Recovered. And today we're gonna to talk about a relic that I found when I first started metal detecting. Um, I've been interested in metal detecting for a while and uh, we used to pick up arrowheads on our family's farm. Uh, we grew tobacco and stuff. And you know, we, when we plow the fields and stuff, we'd find arrowheads and pottery and things like that. And that's really what kind of gets sparked my interest, I guess. And uh, and then I kind of got interested in metal detectors and uh, I was wanting to find some old coins and whatnot. I was in a Radio Shack one day. I don't know if any of you remember Radio Shack, but uh, they used to have all kinds of cool stuff before it turned into a cell phone store and then went out of business. But anyway, um, I saw a, a Discovery 3300 metal detector and it was around 225 bucks or so, I think, something like that. And it was made by Bounty Hunter, but uh, which I didn't know anything about any of the manufacturers at the time. But I bought that metal detector and it was actually pretty decent. It had a ground balance function and notch and discrimination, things that I knew nothing about. But I never really even used the ground balance because I didn't understand it, but it did have that feature. But um, I played around with that some and, you know, used it for a little while around my house and found nails and, you know, peonies and whatnot, put it away for a while. And then one day I got it back out, started trying to go to some places where I could find some things. And uh, it was, I remember Thanksgiving, uh, I think it was around 2005 or 2006, somewhere in there. And uh, it was at my parents' house, and me and my brother and my dad, we went out after we ate, and we went down to an old uh, house site. And I took that metal detector, and they had a couple other detectors, and uh, we were messing around there, and I got a just a banging signal, and I dug it. And um, it was a, a eagle staring back at me, and it was a belt plate. I couldn't believe it, and that's really what hooked me from then on as far as metal detecting goes. And that's the relic we're going to look at today. It's an 1830s model uh, militia belt plate. And this was in southwestern Virginia. Um, this probably was a, I don't know, this relic could have been probably brought back from the Civil War, I would imagine. And that it was, like I said, at an old house site. Um, there wasn't a whole lot of activity in the county that I found it in, but there was a little. And, uh, basically just guarding uh, meals and things like that. But anyway, we're gonna take a look at that relic today and uh, and um, see what we can find out about it, learn about it. So here's the belt plate. It's a 1830s model militia belt plate. Uh, it has 17 stars from wingtip to wingtip. Uh, it says E Pluribus Unum in that banner. They're above the eagle's head. Uh, it's got three arrows in one talon and a olive branch in the other. Um, yeah, this was about four inches down. It was like I said, it was a banging signal on that Discovery 3300, and I didn't know anything about detecting. I mean, I found some wheat pennies and whatnot, and, um, but it was just blowing my ears off. And I flipped the plug open, and there that eagle was staring back at me. And I was I didn't know what it was, but I knew it was something great. And um, I was hooked from that point on. And on the back here, you can see where the attachments were. On the left side, there was one, and on the right, and those were iron, and they were applied to this rolled brass, and those have, uh, you know, they rusted away in the ground. But uh, these are these are called militia belt plates. Um, I'll show it to you in a in a buckle book, that plate book that I have now. But uh, yeah, as a I've I've only ever found um, uh, eagle breastplates besides this, so you know it's and I've been detecting for going on twenty years now almost, and uh, they're hard to find. So to find this right out the gate with the the cheapest detector, well, not really the cheapest, but the uh, pretty much the lowest quality detector that I've ever owned, which it wasn't a bad detector though. I mean, you, like they say, you know, you, an experienced detectors take that metal detector and probably do well with it because it, was, it wasn't junk, it was quality. It had 
it had some good features on it and some things you don't find on on some of the higher models now you know i mean some of the higher entry level models i should say by the bigger names but um anyway it is what it is it was a decent metal detector and they found me this so um all right let's take a look at this in the book now all right here's the book that we're going to be looking at the american military belt plates um it's a it's a good book and i'd recommend it to anyone that has an interest in uh, these relics it's got all kinds of belt plates and stuff in it so um i'd highly recommend this book um over on page let's see i'll show you the first one right here is some other similar designs but a lot of these have the 13 stars and uh they're like the eight, you know, 1820 to 1835 model, uh, it says. And, you know, there's, there's all kinds of variations on this. But uh, here's mine. It's right here, page 166, or 110, I'm sorry, page 110. It's plate 167. But there it is. It's got the 17 stars, the eagle, the e pluribus unum, the arrows, and the olive branch. And uh, that's what the back looked like. You can see the, how the keeper was made. And this is model is 1825 to 1835. And it's just called the waist belt plate, common militia plate. Um, it's got the dimensions there and it's a, it tells the construction of it. A gilt die struck rolled brass plate with applied brass tongue and belt loop bar, iron keepers. Uh, it says one of several similar designs made of brass or copper that differ only in minor uh, die variations including the use of either five-pointed or six-pointed stars and uh, thir an arc of 13 or 17 stars overhead. But uh, there it is. That's my plate. Um, needless to say, you know, it was probably one of my best finds ever and made it right out the gate. And, uh, the, but the best thing about that day, it was, I was with my dad and my brother and, you know, that, that made it even more special. So I'll, I don't think I'll ever forget that day as long as I live. So, um, that's what metal detecting is all about out, outside, enjoying the outdoors and having fun, being with your family. But, uh, that's a look at my belt plate. So thanks for watching and. Be sure to hit the like and subscribe button and uh, check back next week. I'm going to try to do these videos every Thursday. I know uh, there's some other ones that come out on Mondays, Wednesdays, and I'm sure there's other ones that come out regularly on Thursdays, but that's the day I'm going to try to come out with my videos So uh, with this Relics Recovered series. Thanks for watching.